Confirm and go live. Hello everyone, and welcome back to another episode of our Glacier Ridge campaign. Just wanted to make sure that everything was running smoothly. Um, we'll see for how long. Yeah, we'll see if it lasts tonight. Um, I think we're all good. At the moment, at least. Anyway, so, this is our Glacier Ridge campaign. Uh, this is also our Monster of the Week campaign. So, Monster of the Week is a game created by Michael Sands. Um, it's based on all your favorite Monster of the Week TV or series. Um... I'll let the party tell you what Monster of the Week TV series are. Scooby-Doo. Fringe. Uh, Supernatural. Oh no, Fringe. we decided that wasn't one. Smallville. Oh yeah. Anyway, any, any uh, series. Yeah, any series where they're facing a different monster every week goosebumps i've never seen that so i don't know okay um i'll, I'll believe you uh okay so that that kind of gives you an idea um this though is our glacier ridge campaign as i've said for the third time now uh, what Glacier Ridge is, is a fictional town located in the Northwest Territories in Canada. Uh, Canada is a place to the north of America, um, and to the south of not much. <laughs> and then uh, the Northwest Territories is kind of the top area of Canada as well. So if you thought Canada was cold, Northwest Territories is even colder. Um, and on top of that, there's an area in the Northwest Territories known as Nahani Valley. Nahani Valley just happens to be the location of a bunch of interesting topics, um, and that's where this pretty much takes place. Because there's no town close to the Nahani Valley, um, you need to like fly in or, um, yeah, basically there's no easy way to get there. So because of that, I was like, we're gonna create this town so that my characters, players, whatever, have easy access to the Nahani Valley. Cause that's where the majority of the things are coming from slash taking place slash whatever. Um, so yeah, that's what this is. It's a small town, about 500 people at most. Um, and yeah. Uh, so, let's go over recap quickly. Last week was interesting, to say the very least. Um, how did it start here? Let me just go back in my note area. So, Victor, Maxine, and Charlie all set up the trap for Elias. Um, they were setting up clappers, they were setting up heaters, they were setting up lights. Um, and yeah, as soon as uh, Charlie clapped, did the one, two, uh, all the lights, all the heaters turned on at once. Um, then Victor, Maxine, and Charlie went to go talk to Rachel to see if she had anything else to add about what was going to happen. Uh, Rachel pretty much gave you the stuff you already knew um, saying that heat weakened them um, and you needed they needed darkness in order to uh, be able to teleport because they can teleport between the shadows um, and then I think she also told you that because he had just converted he might have a little bit of his humanity still left. I don't remember if she said that or not. I'm pretty sure that was stated. Um, and then they went to the cabin in the woods. 
they decided to leave a note on the burnt remnants of Elias's house, which nobody knows how it actually burnt down, but you know, whatever. Um, and then they headed back to town where they got to see someone entering the lodge. Uh, Bob or Robert Turner was dropping a new arrival off at the lodge. Uh, he kind of waved at you guys. And you saw Dr. Helena Sinclair getting out of the back of his van and heading up towards the lodge. Uh, which then led to some questions and um, not with the doctor at all or with Robert, just you guys talking to each other. Uh, and then you went inside. Ma uh, Maxine was like, uh, oh, sorry, Evelyn said to Maxine, you have a friend here. And Maxine straight up said, don't tell her I'm here, basically. Um, then you guys prepared for a nighttime encounter with Elias. Um, you guys got all ready to go. You set up your cameras and everything. And then you headed to bed. Uh, when you head to bed, Elias came to visit. Uh, there was frost forming on the camera. And he was kind of shaded in the room. And then Charlie clapped. And what happened? But the... Uh, all the lights and everything turned off, and immediately Elias started freaking out a little bit. Then, as he's kind of shivering in the corner, the party is talking about what they're going to do with him. Uh, and the idea is floated out there of what about if we kill him? Um, I'll give you one guess as to who came up with that. Um, Come on, Maxine. Yeah, Maxine. Then... Probably Charlie, he who ignores the law. Exactly. Uh, so, yeah. No, there's no law for the lizard people. Exactly. Um, well, there's no law about, against killing monsters. Uh, so, after that came up, Maxine had a little freak out, moral quandary. Um, so she decided to go to talk to Tom, and Tom basically said, as soon as you have evidence of the monster, the show's over. So once the camera goes off, it's no longer my problem. Um, so Maxine, Thanks, Maxine stomped away, <laughs> slammed the door, got all upset, uh, and headed back to the party, where she basically said Tom was no help. Then there was a knock at the door because there was a noise complaint coming from the hotel um, saying somebody was woken up by loud noises. There was fan noises coming from inside the room. There was bright lights coming from inside the room. And she was like, we need to deal with this. So Maxine was like, oh, I'm sorry. Don't worry about it. Uh, While well, Charlie was saying that nobody was decent in the room, so she wasn't allowed to come in. Um, which, you know, makes it all the better. All three of you being in the room together and all naked. Um, then uh, she left. Oh, she also let you guys know that it was uh, Maxine's friend who had called in. Which I shouldn't have really said that because that goes against confidentiality, but whatever. Um, then the party called the sheriff and let the sheriff kind of decide what was going to happen and the sheriff basically said that if you don't have a way of containing this monster um, or don't have a way of healing him or something uh, or transporting him then the only thing we really can do is kill him and then Maxine's like I want nothing to do with this so she stormed out and uh, the sheriff was basically like I'll help you dispose of the body. Don't worry about it. So, uh, Charlie... Did I leave the room? Yes, you did. Oh, okay. Charlie killed okay. the monster, rolled it up, and I... What? Where were you? 
Hotels don't have if I, okay. Yeah, well, no, no, no. Sorry, it doesn't show up very well on the stream screen, but I can read it now. Um, so yeah, uh, they killed the monster, rolled it up in a shower curtain, and brought it out to the sheriff who was sitting outside with all their lights off. As he drove away and turned the corner, you saw five black vans, also with their lights off, drive into town and head north. And that's where we ended the game. So what are you guys doing? Wyatt, what were you doing this entire time? Uh, working on the footage, so trying to put together the actual montages of what we've seen to start actually putting together some production film. Cool. So Charlie and I have to get the body down to the down to the car? No, it's already it's down already to gone. the car. Oh, okay, so we're done that part. Okay. No, you just saw the vans drive by. That was the last thing that happened. I assume those are your friends, Charlie? Or were the, these the policemen's friends? No. Black vans? No. You can have black van friends. Charlie must not be here. Charlie? Maybe he got a phone call again, but this time he's not on camera, so... We can't... we can't see. <clears throat> I feel like I would have been watching to see if the police came. I would have been looking out the window, I wouldn't have just on the bed. So did you take a note of these black fans then? Yeah. What a good gumshoe you are. Because even though I'm against what happened, it's like, I still would want to see what's going on, like how it was being dealt with. So I would probably come back to the room. Sorry, I'm back. So, cut back to where we were. Black vans drive by with the cars driving away. And Victor says to Charlie, I assume those are your friends in the black vans? They should be. Excellent, then that'll be dealt with. All right, we should get some actual sleep. And then we can deal with the next stuff tomorrow. Okay, so I I was saying that I would have been watching to see, like, out the window to see what what was happening. I would have come back to the room just to... So I'm going to, like, creep open the door. So it's done. Yeah, and the body's gone. Is there anything in the room still? Uh, sorry, one because... question for you, Maxine. How are you watching the vans? Can I see out the window or nothing? No, no, yeah, no, you can. I'm just asking, how are you watching them? You were watching them from, like, your room? Yeah, I'm hoping that I'd be on the side where the... Yeah, that's fine. Um, then I'll give you one extra thing if you were keeping an eye on them. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. Three of them go north, and uh -oh. two of them go to the uh, west. North is towards what? Uh, the forest. And west? What's west? Are you in? Is the, the map like north? Is the map like northeast, southwest? Yep. They were so... when they when they drove by you, they went up to, yeah. up on Main Street and they drove down Main Street. 
Uh, and then yeah. three of them continued north, and two of them went west. Towards the abandoned mill. Uh, yes, but Maxine saw that, so I don't know if uh, you guys would have, because you, were, you weren't higher up. Okay. So, the Vans, was that the police too, or who was that? Uh, Victor thinks, or Charlie thinks it's his friends. <laughs> Why you ask him? So were they just, what are they, I don't understand what they'd be doing. Well, they should be going to get the altar. Oh, okay, but, but they went two different directions. Oh. Well, some went towards the forest. I don't I don't know where you put the altar, you guys. At Elias's place, remember? Oh yeah. Uh, that's where I down. sent them. That's where I told them to go. Okay, well some went to the towards the mill. Is that where they were why would they be going towards the mill? Anyone? Anyone? Charlie. I don't know. Aren't these your buddies? You didn't mention Jason and Rachel to them, did you? Why would I? Because you're a lizard person. Are we, are we getting Wyatt? I don't know. <clears throat> what time it what Would, time is what time is it'll it be now? like it'll be like 4 a.m oh, 4 a.m okay i'm assuming that wyatt would be asleep possibly i don't know probably I don't know. okay well we're is that already not... suspicious of us we can't do much tonight okay so are we gonna check up should we check on rachel and Jason, or no? Should we just leave it? I, 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 that makes no sense to me why they would split up. Mm -hmm. Right now, my main concern is they, they're suspicious we're up to something tonight. If we start leaving, I, I don't want too many eyes on us. I got a question for... I guess everybody. I take it you didn't listen to the episode where uh, Charlie called his uh, people? Nope. Yeah, that's fine. That's all. It's perfect, because that way we don't know what's going on, right? Yeah, that's better. Exactly. And, and Charlie right. just... Something's is not right, Maxine. If you want to go, we can sneak out, but... Wow. It's also 4 a.m. Yeah, I realize that. And it's like... I feel like I should be tired, but after all that's gone on, it's like, I don't... I, yeah. I don't know whether I'll be able to sleep again. Could we go and see what... Would that be a big deal? Charlie or no? Like, if we followed them? Things might go south if it is them and we follow them. Well, I just don't want anything to happen. It's like after what we did tonight, I don't want anything happening to Rachel or Jason. It's like they are... There's no reason for us to do anything with them. Can we at least go check it out? I think we'd be better off waiting till morning. <laughs> hmm. I don't know. Victor, do you want to? I yeah. Victor, do you want to go? I just would feel better if I know that Rachel's okay. Yeah. Something's not right. 
I, I, like, would, I, I would so love to see Charlie's face right now. Why? You know exactly why. I'm just a guy that doesn't want people to be questioning us after with our noise complaints and odd things going on tonight. Yeah, for sure. Well, I understand your feelings, but it's like, I just, after what happened with Elias, it's like, I understand your reasoning, but it's like, I would just feel better knowing that Rachel and Jason are okay. All right. It makes no sense for the trail, middle. That's fine. We'll just go take a peek. Let's go, Max. Okay. And on a completely unrelated note, hey, Madison, I think I need to go on a separate room with you. <laughs> <laughs> Literally after everybody leaves. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. What seems okay, to be the problem? So after they leave, I'm going to contact my people. Uh-huh. Gonna, gonna give them a message. Uh, you were spotted heading towards the mill. People are heading that way. Be quick. Okay. <laughs> We're back. All right. So, um, you guys are heading to the mill. Yep. Uh, so roll me an act under pressure. That's plus cool. Oh, wait. <laughs> Frankie's listening right now. I think Frankie might have just heard what uh, was going on there, uh, Charlie. Well, Frankie doesn't metagame. <laughs> Eight. Uh, that is a mixed success. So, let me pull that up and find out. Worse outcome, hard choice, or price to pay? Uh, okay. So, as you guys are trying to sneak out of the hotel again, um, you stumble a little bit, and you... hear movement in like a study area now <clears throat> if you were to go out the door there's a good chance that the door is going to creak and you're going to get caught going out the door by whoever's moving in the study area however if you choose to hide instead of trying to go after these vans then you will not get caught by whoever's in this study area so there's your choice you'll get spotted and seen or you can hide and not get caught Okay, well, whoa, whoa, did you hear that? Yeah. You begin to hear a shuffling of footsteps. Somebody's up. What do you want to do? Make a break for it or hide? Is there anywhere to hide? Uh, yeah, that's what I said is you can either hide or you can... Ooh, okay, we're gonna caught. we're gonna hide. All right. So, what are you gonna do? You're just hiding. We're hiding. No, I understand that. Um, we're, well, hide like, with like a little hi hiding for like how long? We're hiding till that person gives up looking for the noise, and then we'll go. 
All right. I don't know if they were looking for a noise. We stumbled. We made noise. Uh, yes, that it's is a... that is accurate. Okay. Um, sure. So, the footsteps reach the room, and you see Doctor Helena Sinclair walking around with a little book light on a book, and she's like, "Hello." Hello. All right. And she walks back to the study. Like, go back to bed. Well, somebody woke her up. She wasn't supposed to come. And? Okay, so we're going to try sneaking out as quickly as possible now. Yep. Watch that little hiccup's gonna screw everything up. You're just yep, gonna be. be going uh, to the right. You're already gonna be late. That's basically what that was. Is you can either arrive on time but get spotted by this person, or you can be late. Yeah. Okay. Well, we're going as fast as we can to the yeah. Mill. So. On your way, um, are you driving there? Like, are you walking or driving? Yeah, I'm driving my white van. Okay. Um, as you're driving there, you take a turn down the road, and you start heading down Nahani Road. And as you're heading down Nahani Road, you see the two vans driving back your direction and turning away. Well, there they go. What do you want to do? Are we following follow, them? Or do you want to go check to see if Rachel still and Jason are okay? I'm going to I'm gonna guess that Rachel and Jason are in those vehicles. Yeah, I would think so too. They had no reason to go there. So is Charlie holding something back from us then? You think? Okay, I'm going to say we go back to the lodge and have a little ch chat with Charlie. Yeah, because... Without Charlie, they would have no reason to go there. That's correct. They had no way of knowing that Rachel and Jason were there even. Yeah, so someone's not giving us the full details. All right, now I'm worried about... <laughs> and now I'm worried about where the altar's going to. Yeah, that's true. And who's going to be in contact with that. Exactly. All right. Maybe why it was right all along. Maybe he is a lizard person. I don't. Think I so. don't know about a lizard person, but but he's not completely trustworthy. I'm not a lizard person. I'm the, the lizard, lizard person. person. <laughs> <laughs> it's like <laughs> the ultimate lizard person. All right, so we head back to the lodge. All right. So you slam on the brakes, turn around, and drive full speed back to the lodge. Um, yeah. as you pull up to the lodge, Charlie, what are you doing? Um, clean up the sleeping. room. Okay. Having to sleep. Yeah, I go to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Lock the door, put the chain on the door. Maybe deadbolt yep. it a couple oh. different places. Door, door's <laughs> locked and I'm in bed. <laughs> Do not sleep. Do not disturb. <laughs> Uh, I'll call in a nice complaint if anyone knocks. Are you guys going to knock on the door, or what is, was your plan then? Did he really? Did he really chain the door? No, I doubt it. Okay, so yeah, we'll go. I'm not knocking. Okay, you're just barging in. I just, I just opening the door. Okay, well, he might actually have it locked. Not chained, but locked. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to sleep. I wouldn't be leaving the door unlocked. We're in the middle of nowhere, Charlie. Anyway, so, yes, I go to open the door. If it's locked, then I stop and I knock very distinctly. 
I'm assuming Victor's with me. I was going to say I roll if I wake up, but I don't have my dice on me, it seems. It's fine. You can just wake up. <laughs> I very much doubt you'd be asleep. Yeah, yeah. there's no way you'd be asleep you if had, you would be cleaning up your room. You had a lot of stuff that room. you were doing first. Yeah. What do you want? Um, I'd like some answers. I'll open the door. Okay, so we go in. Okay, so we are heading out to the mill, and then we see your vans coming back from the mill. So we didn't go to the mill because we're assuming that they have Rachel and Jason. So what the heck is going on, Charlie? They never they mentioned out... them to anybody. That makes no sense. How else would they know about them, Charlie? Maybe it wasn't my people. So we're saying that was the police? That makes no sense. Who else could it be? I don't know. I'm as confused as you are. Well, the chief does know about Rachel, but he has no reason to go and send people for them. We told him what's going on. Unless he decided that they're also a risk? Uh, do you want me to roll for you here? Because I know I'm going to get you to roll something. Uh, give me a minute. I have dice. Okay. Lexon's got some stuff. Special abilities for interrogating people. Which one? When you ask a suspect leading questions, roll plus charm. And you can ask, you can say, was that a lie? Was it something you left out that you didn't want me to notice? Are you complicit with any ongoing criminal activity? Did I'm you commit back. a specific crime? You're back? Yes. All right, you know what I'm going to need to roll, so roll charm. <laughs> That's uh -oh. a 12. Oh, boy. All right, you believe. I what? You believe him. There's no way. There's no way I would believe him. What do I have? What do I have to counter that? Nothing. There's no counter. It's... You... For another hunter, basically, they do what... If they do what you ask, you get to mark experience and get plus one forward. So in this situation, basically, if you choose to believe him, you'll get an experience and mark a plus one for another roll. Um, if you choose to not believe him, then you can just continue on this argument up to you. You're sure you're telling me everything then? Like... Yeah. Yes, I, I contacted my people the other night and told them about the altar. The other two, they're not a risk. There wouldn't be a, like, there wouldn't have been any point mentioning them. Just put them in danger. Yeah, that seems right. I don't know. That just makes no sense where these other ones would have come from or why they would go after them. And it makes no sense that the police would do it either. So it's like, I don't know. So do we go talk to the, to the police in the morning and see if... <laughs> See if, if know it who was. These guys are. Yeah, we could see if he had something to do with it. Yeah. All right. Maybe I'm just paranoid. I don't know. It's like it's... Well, it is four a.m. We need to get some sleep. Yeah. Is everything dealt with in the room here? Yeah. Uh, yeah. The. Well, the heaters would still be in here, but everything's yeah, kind of put away. The windows yeah, open. But they're, not, but they're not off. They're, yeah. They're not, they're not like, off. Turned, off. turned off the windows yeah. open to cool it down. Yeah. Okay, well, I guess I'll you see you in... You just have to replace a shower curtain. 
a few hours. Well, I'm sure we, Tom we can get time that. to one. Yeah. All right. Yeah, we can pick it up at the one of the stores. Yeah, let's get some shut eye. We'll have a late lunch tomorrow, or like late breakfast, early lunch. Yeah. Brunch. Um, yeah. yeah. Okay. So. What do oh, you guys by say? the way, before we leave, it's like that doctor almost caught us. She didn't see you? No, we heard her and before we left, that kind of slowed us down, so I didn't get to see what was happening at the mill, but we didn't even finish going out there because we saw those vans leaving, so it's like, to me, it's a moot point. Right. Anyway, but yeah, she was, she heard something, or she was looking for something, because she had a little light, but I don't think she saw us. No, so. I think we're good. Maybe right, she knows okay. more than we think. Yeah, I don't know. The fact that she was looking for us, it's like, I don't know. Again, us, I'm getting paranoid. She was looking for Maxine. Oh, sorry. I'm just paranoid. Okay. I'll see you in the morning. Have a good night. All right. So now we got uh, our other research analyst. I got fixed cameras. It's fine. You're welcome. All right. So the night passes without any further consequence or incident. Uh -huh. And you all wake up in the morning and head downstairs for a late breakfast. All right. So who's downstairs? Uh, Wyatt likely. Depends on what time it is. Uh, probably like- It's 11. a late breakfast. Probably like 11. Okay, I'd be down there. It's I say it's eleven because they went to bed at like five a.m. Yeah, I would, I would have been that. out there by eight. Wow, <laughs> aren't you special? What a superstar! Sleep is overrated. Sleep is for the week. To be fair, that's basically what I did this today. So, what a superstar! Also, I did just kill the thing, so not sleeping great after. Ah, you're fine. Was your conscience bothering you, Charlie? No. Nope. Not likely. Okay. Hey. Sign coming down, it's like I probably had a lousy sleep too. Because I'm feeling guilty about everything, so. Anyway. Good morning, all. Good morning. Morning. I think you might be muted there, uh, Wyatt. Good morning. There we go. And that means I'll miss my lizard men have no conscious comment. Yes, you, uh, we did miss <laughs> that. Yeah, sorry. All right, well, everybody's aware of what happened last night now. Charlie informed you guys. Nope. You Probably see Charlie tell them? Right, Charlie, feel free. Charlie, what happened? Elias is no longer a threat. Meaning... I need details. Dude, just saying. It means they killed him. Meaning that as long as nobody else touches that altar, there will not be another monster of, of that kind. That was Tom who said that, by the way. <laughs> oh, fantastic. Um, okay, so... Do we think now at least Rachel will go back to relatively normal? Well... 
There's a little detail that also happened last night. I don't know if anybody was awake in the morning, but when the body was taken away, I was, I don't know if these guys saw it, but it's like, I saw some vans come with the police or just after the police. And some of them went towards the forest and some of them went towards the mill. And we were, uh, Victor and I were going to go because I was worried about Rachel and Jason. And Victor and I went to go leave, but then that doctor is here. So she almost caught us. So we just hid for a bit. I don't know. It didn't seem that long. It was probably about five minutes of her looking around. It was long enough for us to miss. Yeah. Those. So then when we came, when we started heading towards the mill, we saw those vans leaving from the mill. So I'm assuming that Rachel and Jason are gone because it's like, why else would they have been going to the mill? And what Charlie, kind of... pardon? What kind of vans? Black, black vans. Sketchy no, vans. yeah, nondescript black vans. Nondescript black vans, and they also Charlie drove assumed in with that their they were his. Off. Correct, the same as the police. But I can't see the police having black vans available. Charlie figured they were his guys, but he says that. Charlie says that. His guys only came to get the altar, so I don't know why they would have gone to the mill. So we can go to the mill if you guys want, but it's like, yeah, we just stopped because we assumed they were gone. Well, we got to go check to make sure Rachel's gone. If she's gone, we know what happened. If she's not gone, we can make sure she's okay. I just, I don't know what happened or who it was. Plus, she would have, I'm hoping she's still there because she'd be a great informant for other monsters because she's been in these woods living for four years or yeah three three or four years Is that new what uh frankie is that new you're rubbing it uh, and it looks relatively it's all healed looks, up now though it looks different than i've seen before oh yeah that's nice the cotch <laughs> I turned my grandma up. Leave me alone. I'm sorry, That's but you I'll just went like super robot there, and that was kind of funny. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't sure what happened there. It's from it was from my grandpa. Leave okay. me alone. Shut no, up. No, it's That's just... what all of his bigger buddies used to call him. Okay. That's fine. I just I know your name as well, so Yeah. Ironically, thought... it's the same name. So weird. I'm the coach now. Look at me. I am the coach now. Okay. I believe <laughs> no you. one else outside of this group is going to get that. <laughs> All right. What are we doing, guys? Fine. Um, well, I would like to go and see if Rachel is gone. I can, I can go with you, Maxine. Let's just finish our lunch. Breakfast, lunch, whatever, brunch. And then we'll go. And then we can regroup after. Yeah, I don't know Charlie, what you guys how want many people did your parents say that they were bringing to deal with the altar? They didn't tell me. It shouldn't have been many. You just need a few to pick up an altar, pick up the altar. I think it, you were military, right? This is a military, like, do everything about, like, troop sizes and how many people we need for this mission. Like, wouldn't they have told you that? Seems weird. Well, I, I told them I had an object that we needed to disappear to a place no one could touch. Hmm. They, they told me they would they handle it. They didn't tell you how many people were coming out here, then they clearly don't do very much. Just saying. Anyway, this bacon is delicious. <laughs> yeah. I like bacon. All right, you about done, Maxine? Yeah. Yeah, I'm hearing more about that. Anyway, Charlie can give him more details after we go. All right. 
We'll be back, guys. We'll be back. And we vamoose.